Hey everyone, I've been on vacation this past week, went to Kauai, had some fantastic meals out, and one in particular is what I'm making today. I'm making some roasted vegetables. I've got uh, gold potatoes, sweet potatoes, broccoli, carrots, beets, and it's served over a bed of homemade pesto sauce with a balsamic reduction drizzle. It was fantastic then, and it's fantastic today that I'm gonna be making it for you. I can't wait to show it to you, but before we get into the recipe, I just wanna encourage you to subscribe to my channel because we're always cooking up something very delicious and healthy that's my that's my emphasis so uh, i don't want you to miss it and we'd love to have you join us let's get started on our recipe i've got my vegetables here now here's how this is all going to work we got our vegetables they're going to go in the oven and they're going to roast for probably 35 to 40 minutes at that time then we're going to be making our balsamic reduction and that'll take about 30 minutes so those two things will be doing their own thing by themselves they don't need too much attention from us and while that's happening we'll make our uh, pesto sauce all right so we're going to start with our veggies here. I've got my broccoli right over here that's already in floret size. The, the, the goal here is to cook everything, you know, have everything cook up at about the same rate. Now, carrots and potatoes and beets take a little bit longer. I've got some asparagus here, which I didn't mention earlier. They're about less than pencil thickness, right? Very, they're gonna cook up very quickly. So I'm not even gonna put them on the pan until the last maybe 10, maybe 12 minutes before they're done cooking. So they don't take very much time. All right, so let's, uh, I've got my sweet potatoes already peeled. I'm not gonna peel my gold potatoes because they're organic and I don't need to. I have a half of a bell pepper that I just happen to have in the fridge. I'm gonna toss that in. So I'm gonna cut that into bigger chunks. You know, one inch size probably. So they don't cook up too quickly and dry out. Throw those on the pan. Now with our potatoes, like I said, I'm gonna cut those, cut those in into any size chunk that you want. Try and keep it uniform. If it's a half an inch, try and cut all the potatoes that size. So something like that. That way they'll cook up nice and even. So here's how I cut up the vegetables. Keep in mind when you're cutting up the beets though that they do stain, so be careful with that. And then I decided I'd go ahead and go back and cut up the sweet potato just a little bit smaller. We've got our baking pan pretty full. We don't want to overcrowd it because we want these vegetables to roast, right? We don't want them to steam. So they're all touching the bottom of the pan. That's what you want. And now I'm just going to go ahead and drizzle on some olive oil. My oven, like I said, is preheated to 425 degrees. And don't forget you can get the whole recipe uh, down below in the description of the video. So go ahead and sprinkle that on, get some olive oil in there. Just coat it, toss it with your hands, coat everything. And then just sprinkle a little bit of salt over the top. Hold your hand high, it'll spread out a little more evenly that way. And that's good to go. This is ready to go in the oven. Let me spread this out a little bit. And we're gonna start roasting this. And we'll set the timer for 20 minutes. We'll place it right there in the middle of the oven and set our timer. Now we're moving into our balsamic reduction. So we're gonna take, this is a very inexpensive um, brand of watery balsamic vinegar. As you can see, it just pours out like water. I have a whole video on how to do this very in depth. So if you want that, you can. I, I've got this up to medium high heat and we're just gonna cook it, bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're gonna let it simmer. We're gonna reduce the heat and make sure it simmers for about 20 to 30 minutes or until it reduces by, you know, probably half to two thirds. Then it's gonna thicken up and uh, the, the flavors are gonna intensify. It's gonna get sweeter and it's just gonna be more vibrant. So you can see now that the balsamic is starting to simmer on medium heat, and we're gonna let that go for, like I said, 20 to 30 minutes. Now, right next to my balsamic reduction, I've got another frying pan. I have a small frying pan here, and I have it on uh, medium low heat. 
I've got three cloves of garlic, you could do four. What we're gonna do here for our pesto is I've left the skin on, you see that on the garlic? I haven't taken it off. That's gonna protect it from burning. We're gonna place these into a pan and we're gonna rotate them over you know, as it cooks and we wanna brown them up and it's gonna soften it up and it's gonna add so much flavor to our pesto, you're gonna love it. It's gonna mellow out that garlic. It won't have that, that harsh bite to it that it does when, it's, when you use it raw. And it just is amazing. It's a great way to just get a lot of extra flavor into your garlic and into your dish. So we got a lot of things going. We got the vegetables in the oven, we got our reduction here, and we've got our garlic going over here. And I'm gonna turn that up just a little bit to get things moving. And we're gonna just continue to toast these. They haven't even gotten hot yet. That's why I'm touching them with my hands. All right, so here's our veggies after 20 minutes. You can get a look at these. You can see the broccoli's browning up really well. Okay, I'm gonna put those back in for another, I'd say, five or six minutes. The broccoli's getting done a lot quicker. I think I'm gonna throw the asparagus in there now. All right, broccoli needs to come out. So I'm gonna take it out, place it in a dish, keep it warm. Now I coated the asparagus in oil, so they're already and salted them, they're uh, already greased up and they'll just cook for a few more minutes. Now the garlic is softened up nicely. I can feel it. It's soft now, and that's what you want. That's how you know it's roasted and, you know, done. It's good enough. So I'm gonna take it out, place it on a dish to cool, and then we'll remove the rest of the skins once it gets cool. Now, to this pan, we're gonna add some raw walnuts and we're gonna toast those walnuts for more flavor. These are gonna taste amazing. And this will only take a cup, you know, two, three minutes or so. I've got the temperature on medium heat. Our walnuts are pretty much done. You can see the brown spots there. I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'll toss them into my dish with the garlic. Okay, so our vegetables are done. It's been about 30 minutes total. And you can test them, you know, make sure your potatoes are done. Those are certainly done. Carrots, good. Beets, everything's good. So back to our reduction, our balsamic reduction. You can see it's really dropped down. It's reduced quite a bit. And it's thickened up a bit. I can tell it's much more syrupy. How do you know when it's done? Well, we've reduced it quite a bit. And you take a, I take a spoon and you can see it coats the back of your spoon. Right now, this looks a little bit thin but as it cools, it will definitely thicken up. So I'm gonna turn the heat off and let that cool a bit. Now we're gonna work on our pesto sauce. So I'm gonna take my walnuts that have been toasted, I'm gonna to place them into the food processor, and then we're gonna take the skins off of the garlic, and you'll notice that they're soft, soft to the touch, and that skin prevented it from burning, but just mellows out the flavor. These are nice and soft. So I'm going to toss that into the blend into the food processor. Now with the basil, you just want to take the leaves off of the stems. So that's what I'm doing here. Now one thing about basil, if you start chopping it up or you know tearing it, it tends to turn black. It oxidizes very quickly, and so that doesn't make our pesto look so great, right? So what I like to do is if you add some lemon juice, that will help prevent that from happening, as well as adding some fresh parsley to the mix. And that keeps it nice and bright and green and very appetizing looking. So you want about a cup's worth of basil. I just purchased one of these containers from Trader Joe's. It's about four ounces, it says on the container of basil and I just use the whole container and that seems to work perfectly well. Okay, so this is all of our basil and that's gonna go into the food processor as well. And then I'll take a section of fresh parsley, just a nice handful of it. I'll take out any big stems and just drop that right in the, in the container, in the food processor. And then I'm gonna take some lemon I've got my lemon squeezer here, and I'm just gonna squeeze about, about a tablespoon's worth. I 
We'll start with that and we'll start, start mixing. Grab yourself a spatula and just scrape down the sides a little bit to keep things in the mixing area. Okay, at this point I'm going to add just a little bit of salt for now. We're going to be adding more probably as we go. Now I'm going to drizzle some olive oil in there, probably about a quarter of a cup as we go. Just continue adding enough oil to get a nice smooth consistency. Now because I'm serving this with some nice warm vegetables, I'm going to place my sauce into a saucepan and just heat it a bit on the stove. All right, so we are ready to serve it up. Everything is ready. Our pesto sauce is warm. I heated my plate up. Now we're going to take our pesto sauce and I'm just going to smear it on the bottom of my plate. This is how it was served in the restaurant and it was just so delightful. All right, now I'm going to scoop up some of the vegetables and just start piling them on the plate. They look amazing. Look at this. This is a wonderful dish. You can also make it easier on yourself. You can make your balsamic reduction the day, a couple of days before. It doesn't really matter. It'll keep. And the same with the pesto. And then we'll take our reduction, which is much more syrupy than when it started out. And I'm just going to drizzle a little bit over all. All right, I'm ready for my taste test. I know this is amazing, but I've got to taste it for you and tell you about it. This is my new favorite way to eat vegetables. Oh man. It's absolutely delicious. The pesto sauce with the balsamic reduction, is such a beautiful combination. Like I said, do yourself a favor, make the, the reduction ahead of time, a couple days before, have it on hand whenever you want to make this dish. Same thing with your pesto sauce. You can freeze it, put it in ice cube trays, and then it's always ready. All you do is heat it up. Then you just have to roast your vegetables with a little bit of olive oil and salt. You have a restaurant quality dish here. Absolutely delicious. You're going to love it. Uh, if you think this looks good, give me a thumbs up, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'd love to have you. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.